Hello, Houston Zoo Facebook Live followers. Um, welcome to the Galapagos Tortoise Yard. My name is Chris. I am a senior keeper in the herpetology department, and I take care of these cute little guys. Uh, we are here to answer any questions you may have. A little bit of an advertisement for our new Galapagos Tortoise exhibit that's being built and should be done in 2022. What you're looking at now is our 13-year-old Galapagos tortoises. These animals are around 150 pounds at the moment. Uh, when they're full grown, they can be anywhere from about 500 to about 350 pounds on average. They have a very, very, very long lifespan. The oldest one on record that we know of was in Australia. It was about 170 years old. These guys still only about 13, so they've got a little bit of time still. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let us know what they are. So a tortoise's shell is made up of the same thing that your fingernails are made of. So these guys cannot come out of their shell. They are actually connected to it. They have a spine and rib cage all connected. So when you see it in the cartoons, that is not real. They cannot do that. We have a pretty cool event going on right now called Miles for the Wild. If you want to sign up for it and register and get some miles in, get your steps in, help us donate. Um, that helps save Galapagos tortoises in the wild and other species that we work with. So get online and do that. And if you guys are interested in coming in and feeding these tortoises and loving on them, we do Galapagos tortoise behind the scenes tours where you can come in and do this. So get online and register for those two. Get to meet each and every one of them in person. Including our radiated tortoise over here, Mr. Pickles. Um, these animals, Shannon, were born, I believe, in Brownsville at the zoo down there. Let's say hello to Mr. Pickles, our radiated tortoise. That's a full-grown radiated tortoise. He's about 88 years old. He's the oldest animal in the whole entire zoo. I know this is a Galapagos tortoise talk, but we have to highlight Mr. Pickles too. He's super cool. Critically endangered species from Madagascar. Anna, Galapagos tortoises here, they like to eat a lot of hay and they also get cactus pads. In the wild, they eat a lot of grasses, they eat a lot of cactus and any occasional fruits that they can find and even occasional birds. You might wonder how it is that they catch a bird. Well, what they do is they'll stand up really, really tall and they let the birds come over and eat parasites off of them like ticks and mosquitoes and stuff. And when the bird goes underneath their shell, they drop down real quick and smash the bird and eat them. We haven't seen them do that here yet though. A Galapagos tortoise's shell can get about four to six feet long. Um, I would guess front to back on ours right now are about two and a half feet, three feet. Tortoises do not have teeth. They're using something like a beak to chew up their food. They have very sharp, strong jaws. And thick, tough tongues so they can actually eat cactus that still has spikes on it. Natalie, um, I like to pretend that they recognize me personally because I like to be loved, um, but they recognize me as the person who brings them food, just like they recognize my super good buddies, Eddie and Chris, that are in the yard with me right now, too. If you have a blue Houston Zoo shirt on and some really fancy khaki shorts, um, they're going to love you, too. But I like to pretend.
As you can imagine, Galapagos tortoises are not very fast. The fastest that they can go is about half a mile an hour. And to put that into perspective, a normal human being walks about two to two and a half miles an hour. So you can imagine just how slow these guys are. Um, they do carry their house on their back, so they have that against them. All right, buddy, so who is the oldest and the youngest in the yard? Uh, the oldest is Mr. Pickles, the Madagascar species, a radiated tortoise that we showed earlier. He's about 88 years old. His girlfriend's over there, that's Mrs. Pickles. She's about 70 at this point. The youngest are the biggest ones in here. They're only 13, and that's the Galapagos tortoises. And they're all the same age. Denise, their social structure in the wild, it, uh, it depends on the season and availab availability of food. You will find herds or groups of these guys in the wild eating and wallowing in the same areas. Uh, certain islands, some of the species tend to be a little bit more territorial. Uh, there's a species called, I think it's Hoodiensis, it's got a really big dome shell. Uh, those guys tend to be a little bit more territorial. So you don't find them in as big a groups as often. But uh, here, they tend to get along pretty well when they're fed like this. Stacy, do they take care of their young, you want to know? Uh, they do not. Uh, basically what they do is they'll dig about a foot, foot and a half down. The females will lay about 10 to 12 eggs on average. And then about, I think it's around four to six months later, the eggs hatch. The little guys have to dig their way back up to the top of the soil and they are on their own from there. Jennifer, there is a physical difference between the males and females, but that's really something you can only tell when they are about sexually mature, which is around 15 to 25 years, depending on whether it's in captivity or in the wild. A male typically has a longer tail and something called a concave plastron. The plastron is the bottom of the shell and it's concave so that it could fit on top of the domed carapace, which is the top of the shell of the female. Um, the females have very flat uh, plastrons and shorter, fatter tails. So these guys, Galapagos tortoises, are the largest species of tortoise on the planet. Uh, there's something called an Aldabra tortoise. It gets very similar size, but not quite as big. Um, Galapagos tortoises are off the coast of South America, where Aldabras are off the coast of Africa. They look super similar, same colors, just about the same shape, and around the same size, but Galapagos tortoises are the winners in size. Kayla wants to know if tortoises make any noises outside of the uh, breeding noises that they definitely do make. Um, some tortoises hiss, and that's basically because they are pushing their limbs and their head into their body quickly, forcing the air out. Um, it's not necessarily a hiss like a snake to warn anything. It's more like a, like a breath out, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. They do make other bodily noises as well, but we won't get into that. So tortoises and turtles in general are very long-lived animals. Galapagos tortoises, there's no longevity record quite yet, so no one knows for 100% certain how long Galapagos tortoises live. The oldest one was around 170 years old, and I believe it lived in the Australia Zoo until about 2005 or six. And again, these guys are only 13, so we still have a few years to have these guys with us. Oh. 
So Galapagos tortoises at the moment, I believe, are a threatened species, close to uh, an endangered species. Way, way back when people were exploring and looking around trying to find new places to conquer, they found the Galapagos Islands. And because these guys can go a very long time without food and water, they would bring them onto their ships for food and to use for oils and stuff like that. Um, so that and the introduction of invasive species to the Galapagos Islands were basically what made these guys almost go extinct. There's been some amazing conservation work out there and these guys are coming back from the brink of extinction. They're starting to find wild hatchlings. Uh, they introduce captive hatched animals into the wild to the appropriate islands. So this is a very cool conservation success story so far so good. There's no wild predators for these guys as adults in the wild. So all they have to do is watch out for people. Hey, Pasadena Classical Academy, what's up? The tortoises say hello, especially this nerd right here. Jarvis. Will you swallow your food? So we do a little bit of training with these guys. Um, they get really, really big, so being able to pick them up to move them will be pretty impossible in a couple years. <clears throat> so we do some target training with them, and in order to get them to follow us, we need to give them some kind of a treat that they really like. So when we're training, we like to use carrots and sweet potatoes. They tend to really like that. If anyone wants to come and love on a tortoise like this, we do some really cool Galapagos tortoise tours. You can come in, say hi, feed them, give them a little, little, little bit of loving. They like neck scratches. Well, some of them do. This one, as you can see, definitely does. Everyone, don't forget to uh, sign up for Miles for the Wild. Come help us save animals in the wild. You can check out our website and be able to sign up for that. And uh, the Galapagos Tortoise Exhibit 2022. Get ready for that. It's going to be awesome. And uh, thanks a ton for watching and enjoying our Galapagos tortoises.